um, we went over uh, the test suit. You mm. know the the one that was yeah. done. Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now what we did, we did two streets. We we missed two streets. Oh. So what you and I are going to do is we're going to go over mm. them two streets in our lesson today. And we didn't go over that yesterday. Yeah, yeah we didn't. We didn't. Yeah, now, with that, we're also going to um, increase uh, your sort of practice that you've done mm. with the bay parking. Mm. But before you move off, do you want to make sure that you've adjusted the heads up display? Yeah. Okay. So, can you remember how we did it? Something down here. Okay, sorry. Yeah. One more time. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Now, the button below. That one there, push it inwards. And now press it again inwards. Now adjust the whatever you want to put. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so in terms of the driving test, the route that we're going to take will be the same as what we did yesterday, mm -hmm. but there's a few streets that we missed. We, missed, uh -huh. uh, we also didn't include the reverse bay park. Mm. So what Amber's told me, she goes, look, why did you do a reverse park in that lesson, do a reverse bay park yeah. in that lesson. Yeah. And why did you do it where she did it? Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is we're going to do the same route mm -hmm. and go over the, the, the road that we missed. Mm. I'm also going to show you what you need to be doing where. Mm -hmm. So you might feel that I'm over instructing you yeah. on, on this route, but I want you to understand where you need to do it mm -hmm. and why. And why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm all right what I'm saying to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to move off in a second and we're going to follow the road up we're then going to turn right. We're, effectively, we're going to go back the way we've come. Okay. We're going to turn left on the same road that you know. Mm. We're then going to turn right on that same road. I'll show you. I'll give you direction okay. in good time, okay? Mm -hmm. So I want you to follow the road ahead. At the end of the road, I want turn you to turn right, please. So you do your observation. Your blind spot check comes in. But I wouldn't move off until yes. this car reasonably comes yeah. in. But then you'll stop behind him and you'll start on yeah. While you're doing that, look in your mirrors and just keep making sure yeah. that you're aware of your surroundings. And now we can see that car behind yeah. us coming round as the van. Now start your routine and move off when it's safe. Mm -hmm. Final blind spot check as you move out. That's it. Amber was saying to me that you do not make blind spot checks, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you're making every single one, okay? So at the end of this road, we will be turning right, and this is where your driving test will start from. Okay. So from here, start your routine once you go past this junction mm -hmm. by checking your mirrors, signaling right, making sure you're very close to the center line. Okay. Good. Now look in your rear view mirror, left and right door mirror. Just see what's going on around you. Keep your car straight and stop at the line. Observe the crossing. You just push the button. In. Now stop a second, look to the left, look at the ambulance. Now because the lights are red, we're going to go after the ambulance, we're going to go into our lane. That's fine. Look to your left again. That's it. Steer slowly, so we end up on the left of the road. That's good. That's fine. And now turn your signal off and wait here. Now look at your lights, look in your left and right door mirrors. Now go. Straighten your front wheels and follow the road ahead. And go, go. Taxi driver tried copying the Audi. Yeah. But if he's in your way and you know you can't get past him, you must stop. Even though it's his fault, you yeah. would need to stop. Okay. Even though it's your priority. Okay. So we're going to continue following the road ahead and we can see the speed limit change. Mm -hmm. So now look in your left door mirror because you plan to come to the left. Now keep your speed above 15, less than 20, and keep it consistent as you're going down the road. Now look in your left door mirror again, now come into the lane on the left. And the reason why you're looking in your left door mirror for a cyclist. Now we know them lights have been on green for a long time, so follow the road ahead, be prepared to stop. That's fine, now clear the junction, it went amber as you went over the line. Now look at the zebra crossing, keep going ahead and keep an eye on the crossing, anybody approaching the crossing. Now we can see the BMW, he's signalling right, that means he's going up that one way road. There look. Mm. So whenever the signal, make sure it's not a double, it's not one on either side, mm. because that's hazard lights, that means he's broke down. 
Now look at the second zebra crossing and look at the person with a scarf or uh, something on their head. Oh, it's okay, they're walking past. Now look in your mirrors again and we're looking out for people on e-scooters or on bikes. Go. But the lights have, that's it, the lights have changed anyway. Left mirror check, stop just before the line, tie than a tarmac behind the line. There. So tyres and a tyre pack, effectively what we mean by that is you need to be able to see the tyres of the car in front on the floor when you stop. Yeah. We're using that white line white similarly. Line. Mm -hmm. So as you move off, look in your mirrors again. Now we can see the bus turning in, look in your left door mirror as well. Just in case you have to move. Now your lights have gone green, you can go. There's nobody else in the junction. Now we're aware of what the speed limit is, so we're going to stay above 15 and less than 20. So a quick glance at your speed and keep your speed reasonable, but try and keep it consistent unless there's a reason why you need to change. <clears throat> so we're aware the speed limit is 20 at the moment, yep. Yeah? Now look in your left door mirror again, and now come towards the left behind the car in front. And when you do stop, tie the time up behind the vehicle in front. Look in your rear view mirror, chain or braking, and that's lovely. Now look in your door mirrors again, now carry on. See how many mirror checks we make while we drive? Subconsciously we make hundreds. Yeah. And now we know that the speed limit is 20, so we're gonna stay above 15, but less than 20. Yeah. In the distance, can you see the speed limit change? Yeah, there is. Good. Once you go through there and it's safe, you are expected to go quicker I than what you're doing now. Yeah. If it's safe and if you can justify it. If it's not safe, then you travel at an appropriate yeah. speed. As we're going down this road, we're looking at this, um, whatever this man is on, on the left. And look at the van, the lorry, and carry on. Make sure his white lights are not on, so he's not reversing yeah. back up the road, the meat van, whatever it is. Now you will need to let us sit in there, so you're going to come to a stop, you're going to let us sit in. She's aware of what you did, and you did it because the poor lady's mm -hmm. uh, legs broken or whatever. And you're expected to do that. Now we're aware that the speed limit has changed, yeah. so we keep our speed reasonable. We're aware that it's 30. Yeah. So at the traffic lights, we are going to go ahead, then left. That means you must be in the lane on the left. Now as you go to the end, the lane options are ahead in both lanes. But because you're turning left at the second traffic lights, you must be in the lane on the left. Now if there was a cyclist at some point there, yeah. it, there'd be no harm looking into your left blind spot. Thought, yeah. If there was a cycle there. So as you travel ahead, you want to stay very close to the double yellow yeah. lines as you go ahead. The second traffic lights turn left. Turning left at these lights, you're going too slow. You need to be careful, okay? You're traveling a little slower than you should be doing. So I know the lights have gone red. No, I know the lights have gone red, but when you're going over the junction, the speed limit was 30. 
you know, because I was thinking about that. Because it's green for some time, I thought prepared to start. I want to need to be very careful okay. though. You're justifying mm -hmm. what you're doing, which yeah, makes yeah. which makes sense to me, mm -hmm. which is reasonable. Mm -hmm. But you're not showing me a speed change yeah. from Troy Garage. Okay. Your speed was same. Let's go where it says. Continue following this road ahead at the traffic lights, turn right. So keep following this road right to the top. again because you're coming to a junction your speed's a little too slow doing it again oh, you're subconsciously dropping it to less than 20. no nope, you're going ahead ahead, ahead, ahead yep ahead, you're going ahead. ahead remember we turned right here didn't we we should be turning right at the end of the road at the traffic lights that's the only mistake we made but i need to take you on the appropriate road turning right here mm. and he's turning left who has priority yes, yes. Yeah. if you look in your rear view mirror and look in your right door mirror are you touching the silver studs Look in the right door mirror. Um, I think I am a little bit. You will fail your driving test doing that. Uh, You're too quick to move forward. What should I have done? Waited. Okay. So when you turned right, yeah. you should have made sure you cleared the pedestrian area. What they call a pedestrian walkway. Uh, so these are temporary traffic lights. Look at where you would need to stop. The sign on the left is telling you uh, where you need to stop. Okay. Here. Uh, Shows four way control. Mm. Wait here when the red light shows. Okay? okay? By you waiting on that side of the road, no. you will obstruct the whole junction. Exactly. Okay, so yeah. I pulled you to this side. Mm -hmm. So this is where you'd wait because that red sign's telling you. Mm. And that's telling you it's four way controlled. That means at the moment, one side is coming down. When our light goes green, nobody else will be moving. We can go as long as no emergency vehicles coming from ahead of you. So when our light goes green, mm. they will wait they will where that traffic that. light is. So it would be safe for us mm -hmm. to go ahead, then kind of pull back into the lane on the left after the white van. So it's important that you understand before you move forward, you understand your next instruction. Now yesterday they weren't here. Oh. Today they are. They were what? not here yesterday. What I just did there, that is because I was in the middle. Of you would have failed your test on that. What, See, I done a bit more what you did, you, mm. when you made your right turn, it was perfectly fine. Mm. But you don't, you want you to move forward with the yeah, van. Yeah. But you need to keep the crossing clear. Clear. Mm -hmm. Should just. Yeah, should have waited, sat back mm. and waited. Now we must wait for our lights. So now, the set, the third batch, so oh. the other side is going now. So the one on our right, usually it's clockwise. Mm. So now this side on the right, they're going. Mm -hmm. Then after them, it will be our turn, hopefully, to go. But you wouldn't move until your light goes green. Now we can go, our light's gone green. So it's gone in a clockwise yeah. motion. Mm. So now let's gently increase our speed, move back into our lane on the left. 
usually if this is on it means the bus lane is suspended when it's near a bus lane and then where the roadway is finished the bus lane would then reinstate it start again We're going to continue following the road ahead and then at the traffic lights we'll be turning right again. Can you remember it's that funny turn that we made when we were turning right at the lights where the bollard was? Yeah, oh you're doing it again, you're dropping your speed to 20. So we're going to stay in the lane on the right, we're not going to go to Hare Hills mm. for keeping the lane on the right. Okay. And we're going to go up where all them vans are. Yeah. I have to wait there. Then. Yeah. So we're going to go towards that bollard. Mm. So we're going to stay in the centre mm. in that protected mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. But we're going to follow that bollard and go up that road. Now look in your mirrors for a cyclist and make sure the area that you're going into is clear and it's safe. Mm -hmm. Now once we move forward, remember them both them lanes are active. Okay, uh -huh. So we're not going to turn right in front of any car approaching mm -hmm. us. So let's slowly move forward, make sure we're looking out for a cyclist. Yeah. So we're going to move into the centre, a little bit more to the right. Now straighten your car up and move forward. Now there's nobody coming, go. Good. Go a little faster so we clear the junction. We're going to go ahead and make sure nobody's flying down the road. Yeah. The road's very narrow. Mm -hmm. Now look in your right door mirror, make sure nobody's coming alongside you. As you go through here, reduce your speed a little. Move a little to the right, then back to the left again. That's good. That's nice. Well done. Follow the road ahead. Because it's narrow, nothing yeah, else you can do. Now soon as we go along the road, we'll see a warning sign on the left, warning us of a junction there. Yeah. A little bit to the right, we can go. He's turning off the oh, road, yeah, he is. so we're now going to take the next road on the right. So, start your routine from here, turning right. But remember, it's a junction, so we need to be careful. Mm too close to these park cars mm -hmm. but we are going to find a safe place to pull up on the left after this grey car so we know the speed limit's 20 we need to try and go over that bit better okay and pull up on the left here but when you go over this speed bump try and mm -hmm. make sure that the car goes over it evenly over it, okay. otherwise you'll bring your mm -hmm. lunch up that's right now when you park make sure you're not obstructing the road yeah. because you're obstructing the person behind you because you're not close to the pavement uh. we're now going to move off when you're ready and you should have signaled yeah. to move off cancel your signal but do you see you how you weren't you stop oh, yes because no. you're not close enough to the curb oh. you were too far from the curb okay. try and park close enough if the road's wide mm -hmm. there's no problem mm -hmm. but because the road's very narrow Reasonably, it couldn't get past you. Soon, we're going to approach a roundabout. At the roundabout, take the second exit, go ahead. So we're going to go down where that black car is. Down there. Remember, second exit, you must count your exits. That was off. Really 
It's the same roundabout, mini roundabout. Yeah. Yesterday we took the first exit, today we're taking the second. Follow the double yellow lines and we're going to stop at the end. Once it's safe and once you're ready, you then turn left. And now at the end of this road, we're going to turn left again. But you're not going to signal too early because where that black car is, there's a road on the left. Yeah. After that road, yeah. then signal left. Keep moving. Now start your routine. Good. Go into the left hand corner. Once you're ready, you then turn left. Now you must cancel the signal that you put on. The reason for that is you, it looks like you're going into a petrol station. So now that you're halfway through your test route, you'd now do your manoeuvre. The manoeuvre you'd be doing is a reverse bay park. So I'm now going to make you turn into, after Tesco's, there's a JD car park, a sports world, whatever, uh, Wix. We're going to go into, it's the next left. So we're going to go into this car park where this grey car's coming out from. So now slow yourself down and make sure you look into your left blind spot before you turn in. That's it. Now turn in. When you turn in, keep left. Nice and slow, we're going to follow the road to the left. Now look to your left as you go left, you don't need a signal, mm -hmm. follow the road round to the left. And then turn left again. Oh, I don't know. You should have signalled there. Yeah, it's appropriate to signal again. Now follow the road round and reverse into a bit on the left there. So if you can reverse into any bit on the left. Okay. So stop first mm -hmm. to get your bearings to understand what you're doing. Then run the manoeuvre through your head and then whatever manoeuvre you run through your head, carry that out as you're reversing. Okay. Okay. Just time and stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It doesn't matter what bay you reverse into. Yeah, time and And reasonably, you've got about two minutes to do it. and you need to make effective observations. You need to continuously look around you while you're doing the manoeuvre.
finished? Yes. Okay, bring your door mirror back up. <clears throat> and your examiner is then going to go out the car to make sure that you're in your bay. He's not going to say that to you. He, <laughs> you know, he, he, no, he, all the examiner is going to say is, uh, that's fine. Uh, uh, yeah. So now we're going to drive out of the car park the way we've come in. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go left, then we're going to turn right here and then go out the car park. Yeah, okay. We're then going to turn right at this giveaway here. Yeah. And before you come out, because it's a closed junction, be careful. So signal, but don't move out yet. So yeah. you need to look here to the left, immediately on your left. See where that number five sign is up there? You need to look there as well. You need to look ahead of you and to your right. And anyone reversing out of them bays and go when you're ready. So there's a lot for you to look out for, yes. but when you're ready, go. Keep looking round. Looks good. Mm -hmm. We're now gonna follow the road round to the right, then turn left at the end of the road. So follow the road round to the right, keep on the left of the road, and now do your routine to turn left at the end of this road. But pay attention to the green bit on the floor, that's telling you there's a cycle lane that runs up or down, whatever, however you want to interpret that. So come into the left hand corner. Good, go when you're ready. We're now going to continue following the road ahead. Soon, we're going to get to a set of traffic lights. At the traffic lights, we will be turning right. So you'll first come across the crossing, then a set of traffic lights. At them lights, we turn right. So we know the speed limit 30 now, but we need to travel at an appropriate speed. So keep your speed above 25 if it's safe to do so. On a hill. So do you know on a brow of a hill? Avoid doing that. When you think it's safe, when you think it's legal and appropriate, then consider overtaking. You can't see around the corner. Be very careful what you're doing. When you can clearly see it safe, then go. Don't risk it, it's not worth it. Because if you try and overtake and somebody comes out of the side road, you'll have a bump and it's unsafe. So once you can clearly see it safe, keep a safe, consistent distance away from it. Don't, don't keep stop. trailing back, keep a safe get distance and keep it consistent. You're, you're losing your gap, you're getting wider and wider. You need to keep it, keep a consistent gap. Now it's safe, overtake. Now see the cyclist in the rear view mirror before you come back. saying to you when we overtake a cyclist when somebody comes out like that you end up having a bump whether it's your fault or not that's irrelevant yeah. so it's very important that when you're overtaking that you're careful because if there's somebody like that coming out you'll have an accident so you dealt with that fine but I stopped you there and that girl was a little bit surprised at the roundabout take the third exit turn right so we're going to go down Eastley Road so you'll start your routine once you go past McDonald's entrance. Need 
to go faster around the roundabout, it's too slow. 10 miles an hour is too slow around this roundabout. Now do your routine to exit. Look at the bus parking going, come off in lane two. After the black coloured car, I need you to move into, so it's not this left, yeah, yeah. it's the next, follow the road down, it's after the bus stop. We need to now move into the lane on the left. going to take the second road on the left, that's the first. The next road on the left, please. What's the speed limit on this road? 20. So between 15 and 20 is fine. Soon, as you approach the end of this road, you'll get to a crossroads. At the crossroads, go ahead. The end of the road, the end of the road is very soon. Look at how the floor and look at how the white line bends. So come back onto your side of the road and stay very close to the divide line. And you are going ahead at these crossroads. That's good. Look at the speed limit and follow the road ahead and travel at an appropriate speed. Did you see how when that lady pulled out, yeah. she went, oops. That's because she wasn't looking where she was going before she committed. Deal with it to the best of your ability. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here a second. You're getting too close to the cars on the left. You should have stopped there. We're fine. Now go. You should have stopped where you were. Perfectly fine. So while you're moving forward, you're getting closer to the cars on the left. That won't work. That'll fairly test and it's dangerous. So it was safer for you to wait behind that vehicle and stop there where you can clearly see ahead of you. a little bit. You're going over this speed, but it's a little bit uncomfortable for me. Right? Try and centre the car so you go over them evenly. And if you cannot go over them evenly, you need to reduce your speed. At the roundabout, take the third exit turn right. Do you know at the end of that road, what, what speed limit sign is it showing? So you are going too fast on this road, okay? We're turning right at the roundabout third exit. Oh I've braked and stopped you there. Put your signal back on. Do you understand why I braked and stopped you there? You're not going. No, no, you're not going and you're not stopping. Go when you're ready. Do it again. Look there again. Put your brake on. Either go or wait. But don't slowly move out, you'll have an accident. So you need to make sure it's safe before you go. You are rushing what you are doing. And that's why most people fail on roundabouts. You need to increase your speed as you exit in the roundabout. Because it's a closed junction, your decision has to be 
like very quick and it has to be very accurate so when you got to that right turn the reason why they bring you here it's a closed junction the roundabout you can't see so you have to look very carefully and go very quickly when you get that yeah. small window of opportunity at the traffic lights turn left stop for the police car and now go when you're ready you must give way if it's safe to do so okay can you confirm the speed limit what speed are we doing we are doing 90 20 yeah? okay so what's the speed limit on this road it's 30 but it's 20 now it gets to 30. Okay. Um. And take the next road on the left, please. Continue following the road ahead, then find a safe place to park on the left. Anywhere where that lamp post is on the left, that street light. Okay, that was a test route done. We did this yesterday. You didn't do too bad, but this time it was a little bit awkward at the roundabout. You're not looking enough. You have a fault on a roundabout. Yeah. You know when I went, um, I went. I was going slowly. One hour, like as in bad. Yeah, that was the issue. Should I just? Should I have no. Just gone? Just... Um, I can't answer that question for you. Mm. We look. We make sure it's safe. Mm. We make a constructive effort to go. Mm. You look. You make sure it's safe, yeah. you then look ahead, then you contemplate on giving gas and then you go. In the meantime, the window of opportunity, you lose. Mm, that was okay. Do, do you understand what I mean by that? So you look, it's safe, but you don't go. You then look ahead, mm. you stall for a second, yeah. then if it's safe, you go. Most of the time it is, but mm. that roundabout is a closed junction, you mm. can't see that well. See. So you've got to look, trust your judgment mm. and go. Because if you can evidently see it's clear, you need to go. Just go. If I see it, I think it's clear. Just yeah. Go. But the thing is, you need to get to a point where you can clearly and safely see that mm. it is safe to go. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm around what I'm saying. Yeah, with, yes. Because what you're doing, you're taking a, a risk. Now, yeah. you know, throughout this like uh, test route that you've done, uh, this test route was done with the pupil. Uh, we did it yesterday, um, but it was done with the pupil day before yesterday. Mm. Now. You're going wrong in one place and you have a consistent fault uh, with roundabouts. You travel uh, too slow oh. at roundabouts. Mm. You know, you travel too slow it's around good. roundabouts. Around, yeah. Would you understand what I mean I by know, that? I know, I know that. Okay. I'm going around, yeah. So how are you going to fix that? Just keep my speed. Because that's why I braked for you. Mm. I braked for you th uh, twice uh, in this lesson. Mm. Also emergency vehicles, how are you supposed to go around them? What you're supposed to do are you supposed to give way to an emergency vehicle yeah. okay and what's the rule with giving way to a, um, a blue light vehicle so you know when his lights are on and he's on an emergency how would you deal with that if it's safe to do so yeah so the first thing you do you look in your mirrors you make sure that you're not a hazard I'm gonna put that away for me. You, you make sure you're not a hazard to anybody. <coughs> you make sure it's safe. Mm. Then you find a safe place to stop so you're not in their path. But you first establish where they're going. Mm. 
so perhaps it'd be good for you to go on YouTube, yeah. type in blue light away and watch their video. Mm -hmm. And that will tell you how to deal with an emergency vehicle. Okay, parking up over here, wonderful. Now that was a whole test we did. Now the cyclist, like the way you go around the cyclist, was it? it's like you, 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 you're leaving a gap between yeah, the cyclist yeah, and you. Yeah, yeah. She's perfectly fine. Uh -huh. But the, the gap is getting wider and wider. So over, yeah, so overtaking the vehicle is not happening. Mm -hmm. Because the gap's getting bigger, that means you've got to travel faster to go around, which you're just putting yourself in unnecessary sort of danger. Mm -hmm. So if you keep a safe gap, treat him like a car, keep a consistent mm -hmm. safe gap, and hold that gap until you see that it's safe ahead of you and that there's no blind or blind junction or corners mm -hmm. that people can't see you, then overtake them safely. The way you overtook her was perfectly fine. It was, it was okay. Mm -hmm. But just make sure that the gap exactly. is consistent exactly. so it's, it's safe for you to overtake. Yeah, it was getting wider and wider. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, does that make sense? Yeah. Other than that, you didn't need too bad. But the roundabout, like, 